for whatever time you are watching this video so today is my birthday dinner and i am getting ready to go to the hair um <laughs> my stylist so i can get my hair done get it um getting a flat iron i have some uh clip-ins excuse me i'm very tired like only got four hours of sleep i knew this would happen like taking out those mini braids would take forever i started like a week ago and did it you know whenever i could and it's just like yeah i still ended up having to stay up late last night to get the last couple out so yes i only got about four hours of sleep and it's going to be a long day i don't think i'm gonna be able to take a nap so I'm very tired. I got my nails done yesterday. Ooh, ooh. Do we like? Do we like? I um, I haven't had nails since for about like a five months or something like that, and I don't know how to operate these. Like, I'm like, how was I typing before? I just am so confused. So, anyways, I'm going to. I have to blow dry my um clippings because I washed them yesterday. And they're still wet and then I, you know, am going to head out. I got a couple other errands to run today as well. So I have lots to do. I have lots to do to get ready for this dinner, to get ready for the weekends because I'm going to Miami after, um, I'm going to Miami tomorrow until next week. So I have lots to do. So why am I talking to y'all? <laughs> I I just definitely want to document this journey. I want to have the memories of me getting or turning 30. Like I definitely want to have that documented. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. birthday festivities but hopefully i will have some footage from people that attended and i can include it but it was very nice it was i had a good time um i had a couple games for everybody to play so that worked out really well um the food was pretty good <laughs> the little bites that i did have because you know focused on everything so um definitely a good time i'm very grateful for everybody that came out i was kind of sad about you know some people that couldn't attend but i had gotten that out already i already cried about that so i wasn't gonna stress at all that day i ended up being able to put my cake top cake topper together um yeah everything just went pretty smooth so i'm gonna get interrupting yes baby so um yeah, so everything went very smoothly. I refused to be stressed out about yesterday. Um, I had my list and I'm gonna do some videos about that because I think that was very helpful and do some videos about just kind of, you know, planning and making your list and all that kind of stuff. So I'm so excited I have my nails back. Anyways, um, so we are at the gas station getting gas and we're about to head to Miami where the fun continues um it's raining a little bit now and i'm like oh my gosh i hope it's not gonna be raining because i purposely paid to be on the beach so we I, I need to be i need to be there i need to be there so um so yeah i'm looking forward to miami i'm looking forward to going we went out after the dinner downtown st pete and um went to a couple bars and stuff so but it was it was a good time i had a good time okay i'll stop rambling now when i come back i'll be in my hey when i come back i'll be It's not. I'm leaving. You're leaving? 
so we are here going to what's this called 11th street diner we um me and my friends went here before years ago let's see if the food is still as good as i remember this is miami lots of traffic and crazy driving <laughs> just got to the mall babe is getting me a birthday present because it's my birthday it's officially my birthday today it's my birthday outfit i am back home back home back home back home miami was a good time we did we we explored lots of places like food places bars definitely enjoy going down ocean drive that's always a good time um went to the casino i think i already said that but like we we had a good time in miami i'm i'm glad that we went out there i purposely paid to stay on the beach but we were only at the beach for an hour i really just i really uh we could have stayed somewhere else essentially but <laughs> that's not what i'm about to talk about i am going to open some of my gifts on camera not all of them but some of them so let's start off with the ipad that i bought myself it's the mini the mini six very nice i love taking this with me definitely don't have to you know do too much when it comes to um it's not heavy, you know? Like, if I need to take it to class or whatever, it's not heavy. My boyfriend took me to Pandora. And we got some charms. So, I got the, the crown. I want to get the crown. I always like how it looks. And I think it represents my birthday festivities. And then I got this, which is supposed to be my birth month. Oh, my goodness. That's what it's supposed to be. So, that's what I got. Take this card and hold it over your head for a few seconds. Okay. What does that mean? For a while there, you were still under 30. Happy birthday. All right, this is from my dad. Ooh, gift cards, gift cards. Ooh, gift cards. <laughs> Ooh, cheetah, cheetah shoes. Look at that. And the heel is low, like I like it. I don't, I don't be wearing heels like that anymore. I have to try these on later. In Miami, we did, <clears throat> we went to a few restaurants, had some good food out there. I like this one spot that we did breakfast at. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it in the description box. Uh, their food, their breakfast was really good. I um, had fried green tomatoes. Their cheese grits and eggs. I don't know. 30 feels different. Like, I will be honest and say 30 does feel different. Uh, oh, okay. But I don't have a problem being 30. It's just a matter of, like, you know, making sure things, goals get met. Swim bath and body works? Yes. The hand wash. Da, da, da. But yeah, so we went, we stayed, oh, I didn't even say about the hotel. Oh my gosh, that hotel boy was a trip. 
I mean, I the pictures very nice on the inside. The outside definitely look like we were going to go purchase illegal substances of some sort. But it was perfect to stay on the beach. I will say that. Well, I think that is all of my gifts. <sighs> Overall, I had a great, amazing 30th birthday. I keep telling myself that <laughs> as you return to the real world, please don't be getting depressed because I'm like, you know, have so much on your birthday, have so much fun on your birthday, and then you have to go back to real life. I mean, not to say I wasn't, I did do some schoolwork on my trip because I had to, you know, do my assignment. So it's not like I wasn't checking my email. It wasn't like, you know, I was avoiding the real world completely or entirely, but it's like a birthday bubble, you know, like you have a time dedicated for your birthday. People come out, celebrate you. It's good times. It's kind of like whatever you like, you know, because people are like, you know, it's your birthday. What would you, what do you want to do? What you, you know, so it's just like a different vibe when it comes to that time of year. And so I'm like, okay, back to reality, back to the real world. And it's like, oh man. But I can tell myself like my real life reality is not bad. You know, I make time to spend time with family and friends, do fun things. Like I already have different things that I have planned, going to the cabana, to the beach on Sunday and you know it's Father's Day so celebrating with dads as well grandpa so it's not like I don't have things to look forward to it's just like I said a birthday bubble good time good vibes and just like the time that I refuse to be stressed like I definitely was all about let's have a good time while we're out here and you know, while we're celebrating, whatever it might be stressful, like even the parking, staying on that every two hours and different things that could have been stressful. I'm like, I'm not letting it stress me. So I'm going to try to take that mentality into the rest of the week, month and year. Like I'm not trying to be stressed over little things. Thank you so much for celebrating my 30th birthday with me. I'm so happy to see another year um to see another decade <laughs> and i'm really i'm really hopeful for this decade i'm you know about to be in my career as a therapist and a social worker and i'm looking forward to the things that i'll be able to accomplish in this field looking forward to goals with my boyfriend hopefully buying a house soon and different things Ooh. I'll be back for another video <laughs> and catch you guys later. Bye.